What's up, what's up, what's up? Welcome in to the Michael Adrian Davis Show. I am he. Call somebody and tell them to tune in right now. I've got a great show lined up for you today. It's a month that's all about love. And I got something for you. Y'all ready? Come on, look close to the TV. Y'all receive that? That's what I'm talking about. Anyway, it's all good. I tried to find something burgundy or something red or something. And, uh, all I could find was this tie from the city of Memphis, so I thought I'd put it on. Hey, big shout out to uh, Mayor Strickland and everybody uh, in power, Mayor Luttrell, and those that govern over us, the city council. And I pray that they will continue to do uh, the best jobs that they can do for their conscience and for their city. And, of course, we continue to stay active and hold everybody accountable, right? Of course, many of you may or may not know President Trump uh, signed the executive ban uh, on a uh, seven uh, countries, as a matter of fact. Uh, and then recently, the latest update is a, a, a federal judge, as a matter of fact, James Robert, uh, I think this is his name, uh, put a ban on that state. So those persons can travel to and fro for right now. But President Trump vowed that he would uh, even overturn that at one time, calling it outrageous and uh, so-called judge. So we'll see how all that unfolds. But you got to know that the God above is in control of it all. And the Bible says, unless the Lord watches the city, the watchman watches in vain. So we know he's in control. All right, we got a great show lined up for you today. As a matter of fact, on today's show, we're going to see a young man who uh, was once a drug kingpin, who did everything opposite of what he's doing right now. But God has changed his life around and he's using his gift of music to uplift us all. We're going to hear from him living now in Searcy, Arkansas. Plus, I got my grandkids on the show today. We'll get my, my babies back to give me that energy that I need. Also, we're going to hear a song from uh, Pastor Terrell Munger right off the heels of his uh, wonderful production, Mr. Provider. I'm sorry, Hood Rich is what the, pl the play he just uh, performed. And as a matter of fact, the song we're going to see today, though, is from his previous production called Mr. Provider called Grown Folk Business. And I encourage you as grown folk, we've got to do our part during this Black History Month. We've got to educate ourselves first and then be able to talk to our children about history, not just in America, but the 19 dynasties that we lived in Africa and inventing mathematics and science and arithmetic and astrology and those things that, that other people would say that they are the inventors of. But when you do your research and your history will show you uh, that that man, that the occurrence was right there in Africa, the cradle of civilization and the birthplace of us all. We've got that and more coming up on today's show. Plus, we're going to talk with Miss Summer Owens. She's got a great event coming up this month month, but also she's talking about a, a program that you may want to invite her to encourage your young ladies to be able to be all that they can be, even if they've made the mistake of getting pregnant and having a baby. We've got that and more on today's show, so don't let anybody touch your dial. My flashback song of the week is going to be off the chain. Plus, I'm ready for my birthday song. Me, 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 me. All right, call somebody and tell them to tune in right now. All right, so that and more is coming up, so stick around. But right now, I told you about this young man. His name is Justin Shaw, and I want y'all to check this song out. You don't don't know. Many times we see the people's glory, but we don't know their story. Y'all enjoy this one right here on the Michael Adrian Davis Show. It don't matter what others say, no. I really don't care what other people do. But as for me, I'm gonna give you praises. All because I'm all my life to you. If I had ten thousand times, yeah. Lord, I just could pray to be known because you shower me with your goodness and your mercy. Most of all, you shower me with your love, and you don't know. Praising him, just know. I got a reason. 
Today's Michael Adrian Davis Show is brought to you by Southern Hands, serving the best food this side of heaven. Now with four locations to serve you, the newest added location, 7119 Hacks Cross Road in Olive Branch, Mississippi. Bean and Prince Contractors, serving the Mid-South for over 26 years, a full-service contractor offering services for commercial and residential. And top-of-the-line banquet and reception hall in its new location, 1396 East Shelby Drive, providing both banquet facility and equipment rental. The Michael Adrian Davis Foundation, providing sustainable quality living for all Memphians and viewers like you. Hey, you're watching the Michael Adrian Davis Show. Thanks for hanging out with me every Thursday at 8 p.m. and every Saturday at 6 p.m. And you'll get to hear guests like the one I have on the set right now. Here's my friend, Miss Summer Owens. Hello, Summer. On the Mad Studios. Thanks so, so much set. for having me. And of course, originally from uh, Jackson, Tennessee. Is that right? That's right. All right, you've been around Memphis long enough to be a Memphian, so we're going to call you a Memphian for yeah. right now. But uh, <laughs> uh, just tell us your story and how it all started. It's been an amazing journey and okay. one I never would have chosen for myself, mm -hmm. but it all started with uh, me becoming a teen mom. Okay. When I was 15, I was actually raped. Mm. And, um, and I got pregnant, um, but I was successful even after I became pregnant. I beat the statistics. I graduated from high school on top of my class with honors, and I was uh, got a full scholarship. I graduated from the University of Memphis, magna cum laude, and I was Miss University of Memphis there. Okay. And I've had a great career here in Memphis with the Memphis Grizzly Service Master in FedEx. But while I was at FedEx, I wrote a book about my life, okay. and it changed everything. Mm. I began to look outside of myself because up until that point, I was just trying to make it for me and my son. Yeah. But I began to see the community and I wanted to share my story with other teen moms to show them they could graduate from high school and they could go to college. And um, the funny thing that happened that I didn't expect was that so many other people started reading my book that were not teen moms. Mm -hmm. People my mom's age were reading it, and men mm. and boys were reading it. Okay. I started getting asked to speak, and um, naturally, I'm very, very shy. <laughs> but um, but when people were asking me to speak, I said, hey, I got to get out here and talk about it. You had a and, trunk full of books, I'm sure. So. And I needed to sell the books, so I said, hey, let me get out here Let's and do, do it. it. Yeah. But the, the great thing that happened was every time I spoke, I would have a line of people waiting to talk to me afterwards. Mm. And I said, hey, I really like this because it's helping people. Yeah. Fast forward a few years, I quit my job at mm. FedEx and I was speaking full time. I started an organization called So What? Okay. Teaching people how to say so what to whatever challenges they face and so now what to figure out how to move forward. Wow. And there are some other unique pieces to her story and also we're gonna find out about an event that's coming up uh, not too far from now that we want everybody to come and participate in and to be a blessing to someone else just like she is. So stick around, we got more with Miss Summer Owens coming up next. All right, everybody, don't want to seem too biased as it says, but uh, watch number eight. Uh, it seems to be a little near and dear to my heart. Okay, that's my youngest son. He plays over at Bellevue Baptist Church. They've got this league over there, and uh, he's been playing there for years. And uh, so big shouts out to Bryson Mikel Davis doing his thing and his team. Uh, big shouts out to them as well. So I'm just going to go in and check out a little bit of this right quick. All right, there he is, Bryson Davis. Make sure you get at him if you've got an AAU team or some kind of team where you can. Anyway, it's all good. Black History Month is in full effect. And, of course, I had a chance to hang out with a Nigerian family right here in the city of Memphis, Tennessee. As I try and my passion is to connect African Americans all across the diaspora to come together and to pool our resources and to find out how we can uh, come together to make this thing called the economy really work. Let's check it out. Hey, thank you for our guests. I don't know if we're free or not, whatever, if you care for or not, decided to take up. Lord, you lead them, I will lead them all the way. Father, oh Lord, we want to cover this food. Father, we pray, oh Lord, that you will bless the hands of give, oh Lord. As we live here, oh Lord, Lord, you are going to lead us to our various destination in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Uh, this is two that comes with the, with that. My special signature, oh Lord. 
So um, I am here. I'm about to partake in this uh, this uh, like. This other one is good meat. You gonna tell him how to fix it? Oh, that's what you want. Yeah. I'm gonna tell him what to do. I'm gonna tell you. Just like for Phil, we don't need to count balls. We got to count balls. I'm gonna get a small one. I'm gonna get three, four like that. As many as many as you can. I didn't know. I tell you, you will like it. This is yeah. This is what we call yeah. I'm gonna get a little one. We call yeah. Okay. But it's not sweet as good. Okay, yeah. and then I'm gonna take Excuse it over here. Me. I get the meat first. This other one is good meat. I know good. Yes, he's. Yes, yes, yes. So this is good meat. This good meat. Big shout out to my friend Karen Thomas who uh, coordinated and set the entire uh, meeting up. Yeah, and uh, she was pretty adamant about me eating this goat meat. Dida. Uh -huh. What part of the goat is that? Is it better than beef? Yeah. They say gold is better than beef. Yeah. Okay, all right. Well, I'll research, but I'll take your word for it right now. So, what part do I need to go? I need to do just get it. Just get it. Get it. It's like a ham hawk or something right here. Yeah. Oh, Lord. That's what it looks like, but it's not what is that? Yes, sir, I'm, going to is that? I'm just trying to see how I, try, I taste it first. Then I'm gonna. I thought you wanna eat it, but I didn't know you wanna taste it. Yeah, I wanna taste it. Thank you. Thank you. I know, right? Here we go. I told you my first time. You know. All right. All right. Um, this. We don't have sense of your stomach. Okay. Okay. They like take a chili and um. I don't know what they like, but it's good. Though. I can live with it. You guys, you guys don't even right? right? tell me what's in it yet. It's stew. Mm -mm. It's tomato, tomato sauce. Tomato, onion. And, and here, I'm talking about here. Yeah. It's some tomato. Oh, okay. Tomato sauce. I like canola oil, yeah. or vegetable oil, with some egg. That's on the shrimp. And so you tell me this is right. not, this is not a potatoes that I'm eating? No, that's, that's, not, that's not. That's what I'm calling it. That's the Indian. Oh, don't you see it? You know, we talking about. So you tell America he gonna eat some yam, he gonna wait some sweet, and he yeah. eat this, he gonna be mad. <laughs> oh, oh yes, I will eat. I'm waiting for yeah, you to try the goat first. See, you was out there, you was out yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. All right, man, let's go. Let's get going to go. I'm gonna get the man on, um, if you're on Travel Channel. So this is the goat meat right here, huh? Yeah. And the goat, what? Let's put it in your mouth. <laughs> okay. Okay. It's kind of goaty, but um. The same way I feel about it when I eat it too much, I feel like I grow hair, like it's blue feather. like um. Oh wow. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, I can live with goat. Goat. Mm -hmm. Now, um, so, so what? What did? No, never mind. Don't tell me now. <laughs> wow, what an awesome opportunity I had to hang out with these great people, and I encourage you, as we celebrate Black History Month, to step outside of your comfort zone to to look at the friends in which you share your life and see if there could be more experiences you could have by simply opening up that uh, that particular circle to more friends and even those from Africa and understanding some of the cultural ways and the lineage and the heritage of our ancestors and also teaching some of the uh, great wisdom that we've learned here in Western society. And I think when we marry the two together, we are always better together. Of course, they are uh, still concerned about a cause that happened in their hometown. Uh, these nine men were uh, killed unjustifiably uh, and, and wrongfully accused and actually hanged back in 1995. And so as we continue to grow and to, to come together, we'll find that there are many causes that we can work toward and also many great things that we can still build in 2017 and beyond. Bean and Prince Contractors, your full-service tree experts. With the experience and equipment to handle any type of tree service you need, no job is too big or too small. With Onstat Arborists to keep your trees disease-free, call Bean and Prince Contractors, your Mid-South tree experts at 774-5237. And we're back. Hey, of course, I'm here with Summer Owens. Of course, she is uh, the writer of, uh, tell me the name of the book again. Life After Birth. 
a yeah. memoir of survival success as a teenage mom. Mm. All right, so you wrote the book, and from the book you uh, got speaking engagements, and you started a profit organization, So What? Now, what does So What mean? And you said it just right. <laughs> <laughs> you have to say So What? Okay. It's about learning how to say So What to okay. whatever challenges you face. So What? I'm, you know, heavy set. So What? I'm too short or too tall or whatever, right? Right. Those kind of things. So What? Kind of... I've been divorced. Okay. So What? I have cancer. Even mm. some of the most serious things we have to learn how to say so what to. Yeah, yeah. Because we all deal with different things. Okay. You've dealt with a lot. Mm -hmm. I have too, and so has everybody who's watching. Yeah. We've all dealt with something, but we have to learn how to say so what yeah. and keep it moving. Yeah. And I base so so what on the serenity prayer, okay. which is accept the things you can't change. So some things in your life you can't change. Mm. And then the, the next part of serenity prayer is Mm, change the things, those things you, you can. can. Yeah. And so that's what So What is about. So what? I'm so handsome. So what? I, you know what I'm saying? I'm just so smart. So what? I got all these big old muscles. You know what I'm saying? You too. Anyway, all right. I'm back. That's, that's right. That's right. <laughs> so now uh, you guys have got an event coming up in February that you want everybody to be a part of. Tell us about that. Right. So essentially I have two organizations. So okay. So What is my for-profit business where I do motivational speaking. Okay. So I speak in colleges, I speak in churches, high schools, um, and I also have curriculum okay. that I sell. Um, and then I also have a nonprofit, which is called the So What Foundation. Okay. With the So What Foundation, we have empowerment workshops and summer camps for youth. Mm. And we do have an exciting event coming up. Um, it's called the Love Yourself event. Okay. And the Love Yourself event will be on February 9th. Okay. For grown-ups, mm, men okay. and women, okay. <laughs> I wanted to help, help people really learn how to just love yourself. Okay. Uh, we will have a wine tasting. We'll have delicious food. Um, we'll have massa free massages, free manicures, free waxing services. Mm. We have an awesome, awesome, awesome um, guitar player, or he's acoustic guitar player and singer. Will Zavenport will be okay, there. Yeah. We'll have empowerment speakers who will um, talk about loving yourself and depression, fighting depression. We have someone who will do uh, talk about fitness and nutrition, free makeup demonstration. No, I'm leaving something out. <laughs> but it's, it's going to be a great event. Yeah. We also have some great sponsors. Yeah, so right. we intentionally had it on Thursday night so that if you want to hang out with your boo or just hang out with your friends, yeah. you still have the whole weekend. Okay. So, okay. Yeah. And so for ticket information or how to get into the event, how can they find that information? It's all at the loveyourselfevent.com. Loveyourselfevent.com. Yeah. And you can find out about that. Who are some of your sponsors for that? The Memphis Grizzlies are a sponsor. Okay. Um, ATC Fitness is a sponsor. A Step Ahead Foundation. Ewing Moving and Storage. Southern Heritage Foundation is a sponsor. Gates and Cork is a, is a sponsor, okay. and they're providing all the wine for the event okay. and Chris Beavers is a chef and he's providing all the food for mm. the event. The loveyourselfevent.com. Okay. The loveyourselfevent.com. There's okay. information about the nonprofit at the so what foundation .org. Okay. And you'll see ticket prices and you see all those things. There is a ticket price because it's a fundraiser. It's a fundraiser. And uh, so she's trying to gather money to be able to help her throughout throughout the rest of the year for the benevolent things. Yeah. I come do a song with some love yourself. Maybe not. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Summer, thank you so very much uh, for joining you. us. And we're going to definitely have her back again. If it's happening in Memphis and it's a good thing, hopefully you'll find out about it right here on the Michael Adrian Davis Show. I just thank you for this opportunity to share the great things we were doing. We are making a big difference in Memphis, but we need help and yeah. we need support. So thanks for, for the opportunity to share. Bean and Prince Contractors, your full-service tree experts. With the experience and equipment to handle any type of tree service you need, no job is too big or too small. With on-staff arborists to keep your trees disease-free, Bean and Prince Contractors, your Mid-South tree experts, 774-5237. If Memphis had seven wonders, near the top of the list would be Southern Hands Family Dining. You won't have to travel far to feast on Southern cuisines like Mama used to make. From succulent baked or fried chicken or catfish to their meatloaf made with ground chicken slowly baked and topped with their own special meat sauce, there's surely to be something for every taste. Planning a special event, they're your guaranteed caterers. So, whether it's Winchester, Austin P, or East Shelby Drive, see why food historians would put Southern Hands Family Dining on their list of wonders. This is TV Cooking Man. Cooking Man? What you cooking there, buddy? Oh yeah. So how 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 do you know how much stuff to put in there? First you gotta put the eggs in, then you put the egg in the milk, then you put the butter. Oh, okay. And then the flour. And then you stir it up like you're doing now. Oh. You want to know about 
So you want to put some banana in it? You can put some blueberries in it? Some different stuff? The blueberries. I love blueberries. She likes to sing. So Jason St. Clair, help your grandmama out. Here she goes. She's finna sing. Oh, oh well, this is you sang the song. That's my mama's own church. Okay, well. In that little church. Okay. You would not Boy, how time flies when you're having fun. I got to get out of here for today. Wanted to take a personal moment to say thank you to the Baskin family, uh, uh, Mr. Bishop and Betty Baskin of uh, Southern Hands for supporting the Michael Avery Davis show. They've got a brand new location. It's in Olive Branch, Mississippi. I understand it's right there by uh, St. Louis Village, Kate Officer's area. Uh, you can find them there. Make sure you go by and patronize. And of course, White Haven, they've got a Southern Hands too right there. Uh, uh, near that uh, McDonald's right there. So you can't miss it on Elvis Presley. Go by and get some good, wholesome food from Southern Hands. All right, I'll see you guys on next week. Uh, let's go to God in prayer. Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you for this day. We thank you for this time. God, we thank you for this time of year, for this time of love and fellowship. God, we also thank you for knowledge and for wisdom during this month as well. Right now, I say a special prayer for, uh, for the artist Al Jarreau, that you'll bless him and his health, and you'll allow your will to be done in his life and all of our lives. And we thank you right now, God, that you'll bless us, that we can be a blessing to someone else. It's in Jesus' name we pray and we say amen and amen. 
Boy, all right, it's time for the birthday song. Let me do it, y'all. Ooh, a little love. I want to tell you, lady, happy birthday to you. Oh, man, you too, man, you too. Today is your special day. Go on, have stuff your way. J Dan, what's up, boy? Oh, speaking of which, I'll be having him on the show coming up real soon. Keep it right here. I gotta go. Y'all be blessed. Bye bye. I pull my days to a new day. I'm looking down my street block. My hood's falling apart like wet sea rock. What would it take to make this nonsense past tense? A dollar and a dream, I'm stuck with 99 cents. Would find a penny just to pick it up for good luck. Might catch me slipping and I gotta keep my head up. Now we can pray about it every day and every night. But when we don't get off our knees and go ahead and fight. Not blow for blow right now, I'm talking about for what we know. If we don't come together, tell me how we gonna grow. Because these streets, man, we're the ones who live and feel it. This wrong for business, we gon' be the ones rebuilding. Uh, man, I got my wife back on me. Got my kids looking up to me. We can't just be united by a name or a group. We gotta be united with this. changes and call my wife an angel i used to hate wearing ties but ties require paper now i'm like secret service so watch me preach a sermon can't grow the loss if we gon' leave them hurting we gotta be what's they need i see the wound and watch me be a surgeon i seen enough gangsters tweakers lurking and twitter twerkers i stand outside the screen like i'm kareem no dream team without dreamers that type of thinking would be foul to me we got a sore go grind it's our time can't waste your soul on that drone that spark minds what's up Light up, once fighter, now he's a writer The little crab in the bucket was chosen to lead him right up Futures are getting brighter, visions are getting clearer Homie, don't look around, the change starts in the mirror, yeah See, somewhere I heard that old man should